So if you are in the Google Workspace Labs program or if you subscribe to Google One or Google AI Pro subscription, then there is a good chance that you have Gemini AI enabled on your Gmail account, which is really nice. However, not everyone is a fan of Gemini on their Gmail account as it could be distracting. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can disable these AI features from your Gmail account. And there is something here that I think I need to mention at the beginning that this feature or the option to disable Gemini only available in the desktop version of Gmail. So I have checked all settings on Gemini, oh, sorry, on Gmail, and there is no option to, to disable Gemini on the Gmail app version. So the option to disable Gemini only exists on the desktop version. So here's how you can do it. First, you have to click on this gear icon and then click see all settings. Make sure that you are on the general tab and let's scroll down a little bit and under google workspace smart features you want to click this button now let's disable this and also this so you have to disable these two options and let's click save and there you go now just to be sure let's refresh the page And let's go back to the main page and when you click on the gmail icon you will see this message telling you that gmail is not being activated at the moment so you cannot use it and this is also true for all the other features that are related to gemini on your gmail account for example if i open this email and if i want to compose a reply usually there's this option to help me create a draft for the email but now it's not going to work because gemini has been disabled but then again, I have to mention this once again, that even if you have disabled Gemini via desktop of Gmail, the same Gemini is still available on the mobile app version. So this is the same account. And if I open Gmail, you will see that that Gemini icon is still there and still working. So that is something that I hope Google will fix in the near future, because it's kind of confusing that we have the same applications, the same services, and yet the settings are different. So I hope this will be fixed very, very soon. But anyway, that's basically how you can disable Gemini on Gmail, at least at the moment. If you find this tutorial to be useful, then feel free to subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.